are you all doing? Um, so I have had a couple of requests on Instagram to show you guys what is in our sensory box because I'm always posting um, like videos of our sensory play and things like that. So you wanted to see what was inside. So I will show you in this video. another video so as it says in the title I'm going to be showing you what is in our sensory box so first things first I keep all of his sensory toys oh there's a pom-pom hanging out I keep all of his sensory toys in this plastic lidded box I got this on eBay and it was about $5.99 I want to say um you can get different colors as well but I think I'm going to label it on my cry cut machine with like Joel's sensory box or something like that yeah he's um constantly after attention at the moment so if he starts shouting i might have to get him out of the bouncer like that so yeah i'm going to show you guys what is inside so the first thing in here is um loads and loads of colorful chiffon scarves so we got these on ebay they were like three or four pounds for all of these they did come from china so they did take a while to arrive excuse me but they are brilliant and they are such a must have for all sensory boxes because you can do so much with them. So actually the um, the set that we got, there was two of each color, which is brilliant. So with the first one of each color, I've just tied them all together to make like a rainbow. So we do um, the rainbow song quite a lot and I'll show him all of the different colors. And then the rest of them are just loose in here so I can, um, you know, like, wave them around, do random stuff with them. Um, last night he was laying on the floor and he was, where are you? He was laying on the floor and he was covered in all of these colorful scarves, laughing his head off and he absolutely loved it. So um, these are also really good for playing peekaboo with baby. So these are a must have for any sensory box. Next up, this is probably the most popular item that I've um, ever posted from our sensory play. I get so many questions whenever I post these. And these were from a company called Glow House over on eBay, but they've also got a website as well. So these were £8.95 and they are flashing maracas. So there's three settings on there. You can have them fast, slower, or you can have really slow, but loads of different colors. These are brilliant. Um, I'm so glad I found these. I think I saw them on someone else's YouTube video. He's actually got a pair of these, but the other one is at my mum's house. So we're just managing with one at the moment, but you can do so much stuff with these. Like I just put a song on, do actions with this, and then he'll um, follow the, the different colored lights. He just loves it. So I think because I've sent the link to quite a few people now, I did have a look the other day to send the link to someone else and they've actually sold out. But it says on their website that these will be back in stock in February, 2021. So definitely, Keep checking on the Glow House website because these should be back in stock shortly after Christmas. Then next up, we actually got um, sent a new sensory bag the other day from a company called Busy Baby Sensory over on Instagram. I will tag them in the description box down below. Um, they have got a new glow slash like light up sensory bag. And they've seen that me and Joel love um, doing sensory play with like flashing things. So they wanted to send us this to try. It is so good. I think these come in at between like 10 and 20 pounds for the whole bag. So in the bag, we had this um, tambourine. So we do jingle bells with this quite a lot and he loves it, but also it flashes. So like loads of different colors. So it's got different settings on there as well, like different speeds. Um, so this is brilliant to have in your sensory box. Also, we have um, two flashing ones in there. So this one, you can probably just pick these up separately on eBay for a couple of pounds. Um, but these, this has got like loads of different settings, um, different speeds, different colors. So that's brilliant. And then also the fiber optic one as well. You just obviously got to be careful that um, baby doesn't get hold of this um, to chew. But yeah, again, different speeds, different colors, um, different settings. So again, you can probably pick this up separately on eBay for a couple of pounds. Um, these all came in our sensory bag. And then next up, um, they sent us one of these spiky flashing balls. 
We actually have another one of these as well, which was already in his sensory box. And then I've got him a blue one um, to go in his stocking for Christmas. So these are in Poundland, or you can pick them up in Home Bargains for 59p. That's where I normally get ours from. And they're so good. So there's like a little attachment on here so you can hang some string from it um, if you want to hang it on anything. But you just shake it and it flashes all different colours. And he is obsessed with it. So if I shine this against any of his foil blankets, he'll just watch it for ages. So it's really good for their vision and their development. Then next up, foil blankets. I can't even tell you how much the babies love these. So we've actually got a few of these already because um, we get given them at the sensory classes we go to every week. So this is a massive one. And what I do, I'll just show you quickly. What I do is I put this over his play mat over the top and then we will both lay underneath and I will shine one of the flashing ones or the spiky flashing balls around and it just reflects off the foil and we just make a little den and it's really cool. He loves it. Um, so yeah, foil blankets are a must have. I've just got sent a spare one in the sensory bag that we got sent the other day. So we've got that to use when that one is finished with because you're meant to throw them away when they've got rips in um, or when they get a bit creased. So yeah, just be mindful of that. So the next thing we have in here is pom-poms. Um, so if you just go onto eBay and type in cheerleader pom-poms, these will come up. These were £2.95 for the pair and you can get loads of different colours. He is so um, attracted to them because they're really sparkly, so they're nice for the babies to look at. Um, I like to do Incy Wincy Spider with these and kind of do that around his face, hide them behind my back and then kind of jump out at him. He loves it, he finds it hilarious. So um, yeah, these are a really good idea for a sensory box. Such a cheap toy that you can do so much with. Um, we use these a lot in our sensory classes as well. And then I've also got another one in here that we got sent in our sensory bag the other day. So this one is actually quite handy because it's got the finger holes in it. Um, so again, this is from the sensory bag that we got from Busy Baby Sensory. So again, I will tag that in the description box down below. And then we have feathers, so babies love feathers. Um, we've actually got this little feather in here that came in one of our previous sensory bags. So it's just good for like tickling under the chin and things like that. And then I bought a massive ostrich feather from eBay. This was actually quite expensive, I think, just for one feather. I think it was like two pounds or two pound 50. But they've got loads of different colors um, and these are really good. Again, I do round and round the garden and then tickle him under the chin or yeah, under the arm. Um, and again, we've used these a lot in our sensory classes. So just a simple feather, um, but babies will absolutely love it. And then we have dance ribbons. So these again have been used a lot in our sensory class. So I've got three of these. Um, I've got two different sizes here that got sent in one of our sensory bags. Um, and then I got given, or we got given this one at a play group that we go to. And they gave us this free toy the first week, which I thought was really cute. I think they made it themselves. Um, but I was actually going to buy one of these for him anyway. So you can get these on Etsy or eBay. Um, and yeah, they're called dance ribbons. I think that's what our sensory teacher calls them anyway. But these are also good for like taking out and about with you um, in the pram because baby can watch it and it will entertain them. Such as again, such a simple toy. You could probably even make this at home. Um, but yeah, dance ribbons are brilliant. And again, for like doing actions with songs, um, tickling their face or their feet. Um, yeah, these are really, really good. And because they are so colourful, baby will love watching them. So bubbles are a great thing to have in a sensory box. So we just have a little thing of bubbles at the moment. But I've actually... Excuse me, such an attention seeker. I've actually bought him a bubble gun for Christmas. So the bubbles will be a little bit more extravagant than they will be out of this. Um, we have these at all of the baby groups that we go to, they blow bubbles. Babies just love them. So yeah, even if you get a little thing like this, which you can pick up for like 50p on eBay, um, bubbles are a great one to have in your sensory box. And then I have some sensory cards in here. So these were from Etsy. I've got a set of five and they're brilliant because they're double sided. Um, so you've got like a white on black on one side and then black on white on the other side so there's loads of different patterns and things for baby to um, look at so these are brilliant these can be used from newborn i think i paid about four pound fifty for this set of five but yeah they can be used from newborn so you, i just used to put them around his play mat and he used to stare at them or even lay them around the carry cot in the pram um what I do with him now because he is just growing out of these because he's kind of looking at more colors and things now um, So what I do is put some like relaxing music on the TV and then I will 
he, he'll sort of like be laying on the floor and then I will show this slowly above his face so he follows the pattern and that's what we got told to do in our sensory classes um, and yeah he loves it I think it's quite a calming activity to do before bedtime every night as well so that's what we tend to do if we're not looking at books um, but yeah again this is a cheap brilliant idea for your sensory box and it's really really good for their um, developing vision as well and then the last thing that we have in here is balloons so i picked up this packet of multicolored balloons in home bargains and it was 75p you can do so much with balloons you can just blow them all up throw them around the room baby will love playing with them or what steve does you want some attention don't you what um, Steve does is um, blow it up halfway and then let, let the air out on Joel's face and Joel finds it absolutely hilarious. So again, not a really obvious one for a sensory box, I don't think, but we have found these to be like really great fun. Um, so I always have a pack of balloons in there. Let's say bye. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you have any questions, just comment down below and I will be happy to help out. Um, but we will see you in the next video. Bye.